sanitation crews are busy around the clock, by truck and by hand, collecting garbage, trash, leaves and assorted junk. On a hot day, the cab may be a little more comfortable, but it's still a challenge. Hear the honking, watch double parked cars, or the ones that didn't even move. There was a ton of debris, and a lot of it was backing up. Judy's getting her car out of the way. She's lived for 30 years along Garfield Place in Park Slope. Outside parking rules have been back since July 5th in the city. It's been one day a week during the pandemic since June 2020. When I saw her, she said, I said, move in front of me. I'm going to cover on you. So. Evelyn times her visits with mom to the outside parking days. Neighbors are back to helping each other out. If I don't come on the alternate day, then I don't find parking, period. My advice is stay until 1 o'clock. Do not leave your cars at a quarter to because you will get a ticket. It's challenging for the sanitation crews, too. Cars double park or don't move. The brooms can be adjusted to get in a tighter spot, but a clear way means a cleaner way. Vincent Gragnani is with DSNY. There's a misconception about how these work. People say, oh, that just like kicks dust around. You're not really sweeping. You saw it today. This picks up one of those brooms on a single shift can collect up to 1,500 pounds of litter off the street. So it's the, the best street cleaning tool we have in our arsenal. And if people move their cars, we can clean the streets. I think we all can see that the streets got dirtier. And our mayor, our commissioner has made a commitment. You know, we want to clean the streets. The administration and city council did add uh, significant millions of dollars uh, back into the budget uh, for uh, increased uh, sanitation, including uh, pickup of the sidewalk bins. In Greenpoint, Brooklyn, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.